Tony, welcome to another episode of the Godfather, Godfather Minute. Minute. I'm Alex Robinson. And I'm Andy Robinson. And together we are the, the Godfather, Godfather Minute, Minute brothers, brothers here to talk about Minute 16 of The Godfather Part 2. Part 2. Yes. Part 2. Yeah. Not Minute On 16. On the move. Not Minute 16, Part 2. Part 1 of Minute 16 <laughs> of <laughs> Godfather you, Minute Part 2. What is that, like 1,400 hours? <laughs> Alex, repeat after me. Yes. E minuto. E minuto. Numero. Numero. And I just forgot how to say it. Oh, I got it. Sedici. 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 That's it. Okay. You got Six it. Six plus ten. Uh-huh. Is? Sixteen. Di, uh, sendici. Sendici. Sedici. Sedici. Uh-huh. You okay. got it. <laughs> Took me a couple of tries. But, yeah. Uh, yes. Minute <laughs> sixteen of GF2. Uh, it's Senator Geary. Uh, thanks, Michael and Kay, for their generous do- contribution to the uh, university. And then he introduces the Sierra Boys Choir before oh, posing for yeah. some photographs. <laughs> do, or do you know what is, song the band? They, no, they, they, and they, I didn't bother looking up because I knew you would do the research. Hmm. Um, I'm doing another research. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the song is called Mister Wonderful. Huh. Mr. Wonderful. Hmm. Uh, it is from the musical of the same name uh, that came out in 1955. Oh, wow. Starring Sammy Davis Jr., not his old man. Was that was that a, an era of more musicals? I oh, feel yeah, like definitely. musicals really... I mean, their musicals are written, but they're... I don't know. They just don't... There aren't as... Don't seem as many. They're, or maybe they, I just don't hear them because they're not... It's harder to get them to the level where I would hear them. It's true. You're not. You're not what they call Broadway aficionado. Well, even if I were, it's, it's probably much more competitive now than it was then, right? Because it takes so much money to put something on like that. Well, weirdly, I think so. Yes, the you, uh, musicals used to be much bigger. I think they've kind of fallen into decline. I mean, I, even when I lived in New York, uh, the whole thing was that every musical was now based on like a movie or based on mm-hmm. like the of an original it's it was difficult it's difficult to get an original musical to the stage as opposed to oh here's an adaptation of shrek or mm-hmm. here's a bunch of dolly parton songs all strung together to make a musical out of them yeah that seems to be the because those are more sure box office things you know? yeah i guess if yeah. you're a, if you're a tourist some some redneck yokel coming into new york and you're like what am i gonna see some musical I've never heard of or don't mm. know what it's about or oh look it's Frasier the musical I know <laughs> Frasier I'll go see that you know? I, I don't know this musical I don't know these songs I don't know how they what key they're in I would their voices are weak in the uh, in the unknown show so. you're, you're not my composer <laughs> Michael now why do you come to me for scores <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, I totally blanked there. There's so many things she could have responded with. That's true. I guess I should have said that. What do you come to me for? She because I need music. Yeah, you know, like that <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that would yeah, be boy, great. Your entry. boy Victor auditioned for a show in <laughs> in Reno. In Reno <laughs> didn't even get a call back. <laughs> that would be the intro to this song in the movie. Yeah, to this moment, or not that we're there yet. We'll get there, but it would be like, oh. "Oh, so why do you come to me? Because I need music." And then the piano, <laughs> I need music and vote passage on the Queen. I need <laughs> their Connie's wild years. <laughs> Tell them, Merle, and Merle comes in for a verse. <laughs> oh, that would be great. Yeah. <laughs> yes, my yes. Hello, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the ink on my divorce isn't dry, but come on, Michael, stop asking me why. I need money. <laughs> I need money. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, it's because I need money. Parentheses, cuz, close parentheses, <laughs> I need money. No, it's because I need money, parentheses, uh, divorce ink, not dry. 
Because that's how people really That almost sounds like a headline. Extra, extra, <laughs> divorce, sick, not dry. <laughs> Connie, Gal, Connie, Connie, you all sleeping around with... Should we bring back headlines? That was a, it was a popular feature. Why not? Let's do it right now since we're talking. Let's yeah. flip it a little bit because we usually do all this wild, crazy stuff afterward. Yes. So, yeah, those of you who aren't Patreon or weren't, have not been Patreon subscribers might not know this was a recurring feature. We would take something that happened in the minute and make... Uh, how would it be reported on in the in the newspaper of the time? Yeah, of course we're talking about the Connie scene, which is not this minute, right? But I'm saying, well, we could apply it to this yeah. one. We could yeah. say, you know, like, uh, have we talked enough about this minute about what happens in it? Yeah, there's not. Yeah. The, I mean, there's really not the kids sing. Yes, yeah, it's just the kids sing. Yeah. Mr. Wonderful. Uh, I looked into the the choir. Okay. Uh, apparently, there it was a real choir. It's, oh. the, it's called the Sierra Boys Choir. Hmm. And um, they disbanded shortly after this um, because the um, the guy who ran it, the um, his name is Stan Burke. He was the director and arranger. Uh, moved to Long Beach, California, where he joined the Mario Singers. The Mario Singers. Huh. It's like a, presumably some other choir group. Wow. Okay. And uh, but luckily, in 2017, a gentleman by the name of Nathan Lundholm revived the Sierra Boys Choir uh, in Lake Tahoe. In Lake Tahoe, yeah. Well, like Carson City, they, if they perform at different parts. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, that's not where I thought you were going. You, well, just, you just missed it. Even though I know that's the <laughs> truth, you just missed it. What I thought you were never say, let the truth get in the way of a good story. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were going to say this gentleman got a reunion together of all those oh, boys Lord, and Mr. did... Mr. Wonderful. <laughs> They're all like deep voice men and now... Mr. Wonderful. Old. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. This was done in 1974. Say the average were 10 years old. Yeah. So they were born in 1964. So they'd be in their mid-50s now. The around yeah, there. okay. Yeah, so yeah. They're, not, they're not so... Uh, so old. And for those of you who haven't seen the minute, it's about 10, 15 very white boys on stage singing this song. Mr. W- Mr. Wonderful. Mr. Wonderful, yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's um, <laughs> when I watched, I was wondering, do any did any of those kids become actors? I'm assuming they're really just choir singers. Yeah, they're just kids who have hired just for this like gig. A, yeah. Right. Yeah. Did any of them become actors? And did any of them put this as a credit on their resume? Oh wow! You know, when I my research, there was very little about them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and most of it had to do with them appearing in Godfather Two. So mm-hmm. it's a uh, it's it's difficult to say. <laughs> if anyone and even out there listening, if any yeah. of them are out there, would love to talk to you about oh, what it was like to film. <laughs> yeah. Give us a call. That'd be a great interview, right? Yeah, totally. Do you yeah. do that in a Star Wars minute interview? I know it's harder to get big car big yeah. names, but. Uh, it's hard to get uh, big names, <laughs> but do you get yeah. some characters on there? People who've played minor characters. We have now had two people who played very minor roles, uh, like oh yeah, yeah, like very small parts on the show. So uh, oh cool, like the did you get the guy who plays Boba Farts? <laughs> what is that? The garbage pail kid version <laughs> of uh, <laughs> it is now. There was an interesting podcast uh, called I Was There Too. And uh-huh. uh, done by a friend of mine named Matt Gorley, and uh, he would interview actors who had small parts in like famous movies, mm. like the, the you know, like uh, one of the people in Aliens who played one of the other, like not Sigourney Weave, not one of the name people, mm-hmm. but so mm-hmm. they would interview people who were like the uh, supporting actors and background actors and stuff. Yeah, like that. it's fun. interesting. Uh, oh, that's cool. You know, glimpse behind the behind the curtain. Yeah, definitely. Is uh, there anything quick- else about those boys? No, but coincidentally, uh, we do see the band leader on stage, and coincidentally, in minute um, 16 of the original Godfather is when Kay is, is Michael is telling the story to Kay about the uh, the about Luca Brasi oh. putting a gun to the band leader's head. So. so same minute. It's the same minute, yeah, yeah. Are, so. you, are you calling Ring Theory? I'll call Ring Theory. Okay. Do you have music, do you have music for it? Uh, I'm going to work on so that. like, ding, 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 yeah. ding, ding, you know, like, uh, like chimes. Well, ring, but ring. Like chimes, like ring. Chimes? Yeah, like. Okay. You could say ring. Ring yeah. chimes. Okay. Like dun 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 yeah. dun, dun, oh, dun. Oh, oh. <laughs> Um So uh, So did you know did you notice when Go ahead, what you got? What you got for me? Did you notice that when Geary introduced the song, it it was very real the way he presented it and he said and and as an 
uh, uh, special attraction. An added attraction. Added attraction. <laughs> like you really that. pump this up as an added attraction. Yeah. Right? So it's already... It's not just an attraction. It's added. So what is the main it, attraction, you think? The... the, the, the <laughs> oh, that has not been party? No, that's going to be... Um, Frankie Five Angels oh. getting on stage. <laughs> <laughs> they set him up to be the main attraction. And That's now, the, the moment you were waiting for, ladies and gentlemen, folks, here he is. Yeah. Frankie Five Angels trying everyone. to convince the band to play one of those Italian songs. <laughs> no, I think the main attraction is later tonight when Fredo's wife gets all drunk. Oh, yeah. Totally. Dancing on. <laughs> oh, they, don't, they couldn't even dance with their own mamas. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever she says. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> so Geary says, as an added attraction, yes, we have here the Sierra Boys Club Boys Choir to sing a certain special song and special arrangement. Yeah. To honor their whole, like whoa. Wow. There's a lot of qualifiers. A lot of he, he really yeah. bumps it up. Added attraction. A certain certain special song with a special arrangement. arrangement. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> do you think he overhyped it? I think he did. Uh, it's a bunch what? of pre pre pube kids <laughs> whining about Mister Wonderful. It's kind of creepy when you think whining about it. Whining about Mister Wonderful. <laughs> Mister Wonderful. <laughs> um, singing about their acne. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, one thing uh, when I was trying to look it up to see that about the choir was uh, somebody on the internet com- I think on the IMDB someone commented how rude it was that they're like they worked very hard on this special arrangement and like as soon as they start singing Mike they just get up they don't even listen to them well, they start they're doing the like, pictures yeah they're just taking pictures they're not even <laughs> listening to what's, uh, to what's going on so like how rude is that I didn't think like, about that that's great <laughs> go ahead hit it boys Go ahead now, boys. <laughs> I wonder if this... Uh, it would have been interesting if there was a shot of um, Anthony being like, oh, singing. Because, oh. you know, this is this is he becomes, oh, eventually yeah. becomes an opera singer. But obviously, when they were filming this, they didn't know that that was going to be the case. But if they had yeah. known that that was going to be the case, it seems like it would be a good time to show him being like, mm. you know... Like Michael's trying to drag him yeah. away for pictures, and he's like, "No, come on, Dad, I want to stay and watch." Yeah, maybe they'll do no, that. Son of mine's gonna be singing in the in a, in a boys' choir. <laughs> maybe in the in the GF three coda, mm-hmm. they'll have him do a flashback to that scene. Oh yeah, that would be a- cool. <laughs> if you're gonna do a coda, recut it, go nuts. That's why really I'm not right. as excited about the coda, the Michael Corleone mm-hmm. coda, as I could be. Because if, if they had filmed additional scenes or like mm-hmm. stuff, I'd be more excited about it. But the fact that they just re-edited stuff it makes me think it's less... Oh. less. Is, there, is there no new footage? Not I'm, new footage, but previously unreleased footage. I'm assuming there's some, but yeah. I can't even say. I mean... Mm-hmm. Well, anyway, we'll see when we do yeah. our GF3 commentary. Mm-hmm. Which you can listen to by becoming one of our loyal Patreons. That's right. One more thing about uh, Anthony being intrigued by the choir. Anthony! Maybe he becomes a singer, not mm-hmm. just to piss off his father, his father, mm-hmm. but also because at this moment in GF2, minute 16, he notices that no one's paying attention to the singers. Yeah. And he does not want the attention, unlike most kids who want the attention of their parents he he, he doesn't want the spotlight of it because he knows this world is crooked oh. he wants to get out he's like oh no one's listening to the singer well I, yeah especially his I father to blend his father into the did background not even go, did not even listen for a yeah. second to uh, yeah. yeah i like it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i just want to be stepped over yeah. <laughs> there's nothing in it for me <laughs> yeah That's what he oh saying. we didn't even mention how this movie be earlier uh Vito sings and yet, the he's, that's the first thing you hear out of his mouth. Yeah, it's true. And singing, see. and he isn't heard because he's alone in that on that Ellis Island. Oh, that Ellis Island like hospital. Anthony wishes he was. And the uh, Sierra Boys Club kids are not being heard too. So maybe this is a, a symbol of theme. how children are are can't afford to be careless. Do you can or can't? Can. Do you think it's a pre? It's is it foreshadowing the fate of? Uh, of Michael's uh, other child that we don't know oh, if it was a boy or not being the, silenced yeah being oh. silenced what do you mean it was a boy can't you can't you just give me a straight answer yeah Andy I mean come on they they don't know what they, for once 
<laughs> Hova! Who wants? Give me a straight answer, Tom. <laughs> Maybe uh, if you if you can't give me a straight answer about my <laughs> aborted child, maybe your mistress can. <laughs> Where am I out, <laughs> Mikey? Why are you gonna hurt me like that? <laughs> it doesn't hurt me now, but maybe ten years from oh. now. <laughs> oh man. Um, what else you got? I have a question for you. Yeah, who is the real Andy Robinson? <laughs> Andy Robinson. And I, I'd be very curious to hear your answer for this. Um, what? Who is? What is the highest level politician you've ever met personally? Mm, great question. Hmm. Have you met a Great senator? Question. Have you met a congressman? Gosh, I feel. Or was like there not was, enough time? I feel. <laughs> I feel like when I was a kid, I may have met a state, a New York state rep somewhere. Mm-hmm. I have a vague memory of that. I, was um, say, I, think, I did meet the ba- mayor of Beaverton, Oregon. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. Oh, and the mayor of uh, Portland, Oregon. Charlie Hales, not the current one. When did you meet him? What was the circumstance? Uh, it's a funny story. Our so our good friend was his chief of staff, mm-hmm. and but but when he was running, we had our previous Irish Wolfhound Finton, mm-hmm. who is a if folks. If you don't know Irish Wolfhounds, they're very large dogs. If you watch if you watch the Godfather they're, Minute uh, on big YouTube, dogs. Yeah, very big dogs. <laughs> If you watch Godfather Minute on YouTube, you'll see some pictures of him inserted. That's our old dog, Finton. Mm-hmm. But that was Nigel, maybe. Anyway, we uh, we helped get Charlie Hales elected because we marched with him in a parade with Nigel, and we were wearing he was wearing signs, and we were wearing signs. And that was the analysts' uh-huh. pollsters have decided pollsters. that that was the dissenting. That's sign. right. Wow. Yeah, we had a Marist University poll. The dog was a kingmaker. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, we we that's probably I don't know. Is a mayor more? Is a mayor higher up? A mayor of a internationally known city, more so than more what? higher up than a state assembly person. Hmm. I don't know. I uh, it's a tough mayor of Portland. I would say he's probably bigger than an assembly person who's like yeah. from the from nowhere. I wonder how you calculate that. You take the population and you somehow distill it down to Maybe what how many, is your influence how many on. votes they got oh that's that's a nice quantifiable way because that would also let you know if someone was like if they're a mayor but the mayor mm. of new york city that's a much more powerful position than being mm. that's like probably it. more than being a congressman from wyoming you know wow so i wonder who the most high up elected official is in history Mm, I don't Who know. received the most votes ever is probably Putin or something. <laughs> yeah, that's Didn't probably true. a billion <laughs> votes or something. <laughs> yeah, that's probably the case. Um, and we're we're getting into Hyman Roth territory now. What do you mean, man? Who wants to become president? <laughs> just needs the votes and the dollars to make it happen. It's anyway. That's all I can remember for politicians. How about you? I met a congressman. I think when we did our a um, U.S. congressman. Yes, because mm-hmm. I think when we went to a uh, school trip, we either went to D- Washington D.C. or went to. I remember taking a school trip to Washington D.C. and I remember taking a school trip to Albany. Mm-hmm. And in one mm-hmm. of those situations, we met Congressman uh, Hamilton Fish. Mm-hmm. Fish, mm-hmm. Ham Fish, they call Ham Fish. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, so it was just the kind of thing where, like, they took like a photo of everyone who was on the trip with him. And That's what I his, remember. Shook his hand or something like That's that. That's what I remember but, uh, too. I yeah. think it was. I was probably the same experience. But yeah. what was interesting? What what's what is interesting about it to me is that Hamilton Fish is from a long line of like a Washington of a, like New York politicians. Like his grand is like great grandfather was mm. in like the Civil War. Or, like, you know, he was like wow. Hamilton Fish, like the fourth or something. Wow. And so every now and then, if I'm reading a history book about like the the civil war or the american revolution or something the name hamilton fish will come up and they'll say oh the future you know uh, the, wow the, the, oh that's fun know, so it's so that's kind of neat the, the historical connection but yeah uh, so but yeah. so you're saying ham fish was a a small fish in a large pond 
You small potatoes. <laughs> small, small a fish. <laughs> small a fish. Place. It's perfect. No matter what Hyman Roth is served, he yeah. always wants a smaller serving mm. of it. You think it's a power play on his part? Oh. Like and, it's, but it, but it's 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 counterintuitive, right? Right. Because normally someone who's just like, oh, I want a bigger piece. Yeah. Oh, give me a bigger drink. Right. I'd be Walt. Bigger oh. horse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you run, the Russian czar never had a horse this tall. Yeah. <laughs> it's all he cares about. <laughs> How tall the animal is. <laughs> bigger horse. Bigger part in that picture. Bigger star. It's going to make him an even bigger star. <laughs> um, what was your question? I don't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> Our Latin scholar Peter Crucci met um, U.S. Senator Chuck Schumer. Oh. Yeah. Crooked, he texted crooked me Chuck once. Schumer. Wait, what is it? Crooked Ch- Chuck no. Schumer or Sleepy Chuck Schumer? What's his... Sleepy Chuck Schumer. What's his, uh, what's his, his no. garbage pail kid name? <laughs> oh, his garbage pail <laughs> kid name or what uh, the previous either president one. used either to call? It's the same oh. thing, basically. <laughs> Schumer. I feel like you could do something with I Schumer. I feel like he did, Chuck. though. I feel like he had really? one. Really? Yeah. What? That we made up or a no, real no, that, one? that Trump called him. Oh, okay. Chuck, uh, yeah, there was one. It clearly didn't stick. Yeah, Hillary was crooked Hillary. Crooked Hillary, failing New York Times. Uh, <laughs> low energy Jeb Bush. Jeb Bush is the best one. He's low energy. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, uh, oh, a smaller piece, lower energy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe it is a power play on his part. Um, because it makes other people seem like uh, like gluttons. Mm, yeah, you're like small yeah. a piece. Like, come on, I'm not a, I'm not an yeah. animal. I got you know. He, well, he's also saying I I don't need. I'm so powerful. I don't need exactly to demonstrate my power. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Always comes back to Hyman Roth. All roads lead to Hyman Roth. Speaking of Hyman Roth, okay. another bit of foreshadowing in this uh, minute is we get to see. Um, uh, Michael Corleone getting a plaque. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's a little bit of uh, of just for donating some money uh, to something. So it's a. I was trying to read what was on the plaque, mm-hmm. but it was too hard to make out yeah. on the screen. But I googled <laughs> Godfather Two plaque, but the only thing that comes up is, of course, uh, it's Mo Green. Was Hy- Mo- Me, Hyman Roth and Mo Green. The so, non plaque. Uh, yeah, they should have shown Hyman Roth in there at the communion, and he's all. Urgh! All oh. mad, like King putting, smashing yeah. his fist on the table. <laughs> well, no one and knows. This tiny little piece of cake on the on the table. Because <laughs> oh, every time they come, he has to keep worrying, saying, "Small, smaller face, smaller face." <laughs> I, do you think that plaque? Oh, first of all, I was so spoiler close. alert: a few minutes from now, there's a, a machine gun attack on Michael Corleone. Yeah, but now I'm wondering: is that was that? Hyman Roth has nothing to do with power plays and controlling casinos. It was Hyman Roth so mad that Michael Corleone was getting a plaque Mm. and Mo Green had not. He said, you need to take him out now. Well, so he, he, he farmed it out. He didn't do it himself. No, it's not like Mo Green was in the, uh, it's not like Hyman Roth was there in the window. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and then he killed those two guys. They fish out of the, the street. What is, doesn't he say something about gun? Like all these, all this, Guns, oh, yeah. people He's, with guns doing what is, stupid things. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, he doesn't strike me as someone who's hands on, <laughs> hands on in the gun department. Or he is, yeah. and he just gets you to think that. Yeah. Or it also could be why he, uh, why his hearing is so bad from shooting mm-hmm. so many machine guns. Mm-hmm. He blew his eardrums out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, oh, and wait, there was one other. Oh, do you think that plaque that Michael Corleone got? was the one that was originally intended for Mo Green, but it was just never finished because he was killed. They were they were about to give him a plaque. So it says, it says like M O E <laughs> space G R and then it's just like crossed out and then like Michael Curley. <laughs> well they turned the, the M for Mo for Michael. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they try to like just really yeah. like rub it, like burn it in over the other letters. <laughs> Oh man, so many insightful comments we have. Hey, hey, this is Elvis Costello telling you to stick around and uh, uh, listen to these guys. Become a financial supporter by going to godfatherminute.com slash support. Yeah, you said it all. I don't really need to add anything about that. <laughs> no, no, no.